as you guys all know, Reggie's a journalist and a good one at that. Very researched, takes her time. She's detailed and she's been in the game for some years now. Right. So I wanted to get your thoughts on Russ. Um, so let me preface this by saying (laughs) I love people who are passionate about music. Okay. Especially in these times, right. In this day and age where a lot of people are just showing up for the bag, trying to collect as much streams as they can and go on to the next thing. It's really beautiful to see people who enjoy and are passionate about the music, right? It's like, all right, cool. You're not caught up in the drama things. You're not caught up in the bullshit that this lifestyle might come with, but your focus is the music, right? My thing with Russ is, is like, <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah, that's all cool, but like, all of that is cool and dandy, but, and maybe we've spoken about this in a similar way before, but with Russ, it's like, dude, you know, you're a musician, right? Mm-hmm. he comes off like a politician all the fucking it's at times you forget that russ makes music because and, and again a s- salute to everyone's first um, amendment right all right <laughs> salute oh my gosh okay please freedom of speech salute to you i understand kudos to you but i think what a lot of artists don't understand is that the optics of how they come off once yeah. they voice multiple things over and over and over and over again. Reggie, do you know what I'm alluding to? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, this is this is bad of me to do. I'm sorry. Oh, we're we're gonna get back to Russ. We're gonna get back to. Okay, Russ. that's fine. That's but fine. when you said like the optics of yeah. an artist really matters, I just have to slide this in there because mm-hmm. it just happened. Have you seen Ari Lennox's recent post? Yo. Can I read it for you, actually? I don't know. It's pretty. It's like three it's paragraphs, like three, but. Three paragraphs. Can I just read the first paragraph? Because you know what's funny, Reggie? I saw it floating around and I felt like it was going to give me a headache. And I was, and it was already a long list. I was like, you know what? Let me come yeah. back to it. Let me just from read the, the first, first From the first few sentences, you get the gist of it. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm working on a plan to transition off of social media for good. Mm. I don't believe I'll ever mature and be as happy as long as I have it. So my last days of socials will be December 18th, my two-year sobriety anniversary. I will be, will, will be deleting my Facebook, IG, and TikTok permanent. So that's an Instagram caption <clears throat> that she put up. And it's long, guys. Like, it's very long. It's a big paragraph. And I respect that she, you know, when she has mental health breakthroughs and things like that, she always shares with us. Like, she goes off of social media for a year, comes back and tells us her journey and stuff. But then it just reminded me of that when you said like the optics of an artist matters. And when you keep telling us these things over and over again, I saw a tweet, like I'm very empathetic towards her. I love Ari Lennox guys. I'm a dream. I'm a dreamville girl. Like I don't have to explain how much I love this woman, her music. She's incredible. But I saw a tweet and it started trending on Twitter. Her message started trending on Twitter because a lot of people were agreeing. They were like, yo, we think Ari Lennox, like, she just has to leave the industry because she, it looks like she can't handle it. Like, this has been like the fifth time that she has come to us and been like, guys, I'm not in a great place. I'm deleting all my social media. Yeah. She's cleared, she's cleared her tweets out like 10 times. She has complained about how tough the industry is. And then she's told us about her sobriety journey, which her, she, she started like going down a dark road because of the stress of the industry. Right. So people were saying like, should our is this industry just not for her or should we just applaud her for being so transparent i don't know because i love her so much but i don't know people kind of have a point people do have a point right and you know i guess there are points to be made on both sides right i think it sucks that and we i had asked this when fergie came up right remember when fergie baby came up to the podcast and i was like do you feel like it's a travesty that artists have had to turn into content creators and he responded right and he responded and said Artists have always been content creators. I agree with that, but to an extent, because the content creators of yesterday were, all right, cool. They might shoot a movie. They might shoot a TV, uh, a show. Like that's their content. That's their yeah. content, right? That That's their way of being visible to the public, right? Especially in the early 2000s, 90s, of course, there was no social media. But today, the content creators literally means, yo, make a dance for your song and, and go shake your ass up there. Yeah, and they're like, I don't want to do this. Like, right. and I'm I sorry, like, I don't. Exactly, right? And for people who really are just more, again, in it for the love of the music, a lot of the other things that come with social media can be very confusing for them. So I, I do feel a bit bad. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, mm-hmm. imagine, like, back in the day, musicians were allowed to just be musicians. Like, that was just, mm-hmm. that was just enough for them. 
And a step further, if they didn't want to fucking drop a project for three years, that's fine. Like it's we'll cool. just get we'll just get your album when we get it. And people understood that in the two thousands. Now it's like if you take a year off, they forget about you. Like yeah, it's I, so bad. They forget about you. Oh, you fell off. You fell off. Whole time they're making music every single day. So essentially, yeah. they are doing their jobs, right? Oh, uh, but oh my so, god, great little bridge. So yeah. I feel that way with real journalism. Mm-hmm. Real journalism, you guys know it. Like with the, Back in the day with literally your tape recorder, you're going out investigating, you're doing research, you're delivering news to people, yeah. you're interviewing people on like a talk show setting. But now these days, video is king. You have to have a cool, funky show. Mm-hmm. You have to have a beautiful set. And like people, I love print journalism. I love magazines. I love re- reading long profiles online. I still love it. But, you know, realistically, a lot of people, that's not the majority now. So. Mm-hmm. They can't read no more. That's why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, that's basically what Russ was saying. He, I can't even get into it because it's like he's Get literally attack. He's literally attack- attacking me. Like literally. What? He no. Well, people like me. He he oh. went on a rant against journalists, guys. That's what Alex was trying to cue up in the beginning, but then I interrupted. No, you're he, right. like, this, is great. this is great. Yeah. So where where? Oh, I could find okay. it. Like, I don't even know where to start because he made so many. Di- okay, so, I mean, one one long tweet that he said right. was like, this is literally from his Twitter account. He said, respected journalists want artists to do interviews with them, but here's the issue. And look, guys, he wrote a whole par. Look, this is. Jesus a- Christ. Okay, let's just talk about the first one. He goes, mm-hmm. He's basically listing out the reasons why journalists basically aren't doing their job anymore. They're less le They're less needed now than ever before. That was like the basis of his rant last night. Terrible narrative. And number one, he was like, most journalists don't have their own platform. So it somewhat forces the artist to fund and produce the interview themselves. And I've done so because I see the value. But I understand if an artist doesn't want to pay for the interview. And I read that, yo. What? (laughs) He's saying that artists don't like doing interviews with journalists anymore because journalists can't afford a nice interview. So the artist has to fund and produce it themselves. And I read that. I really, really wanted to have a heart attack because I'm like, when does this happen? I was about to say, that's not true. That's <laughs> not a thing. Artists, yeah. <laughs> artists do not pay to set up an interview. That is not a thing. That is not journalism. Like, that is not. When was that journalism? Oh, my if God. Anything, like, artists were going to journalists to tell their story, right? Like, they would use what a journalist is- as the liaison between them and the public. Yeah, but, like, what artist is setting up a set and a producer to do it their own interview that's not a thing and that's what tells me about russ russ are you paying for your interviews because this is not (laughs) this is not supposed to be journalism like i cannot believe he tweeted that to his audience because that is just not how the music industry works right oh it's frustrating frustrating. and and it's like wait have uh, russ have you been going to anyone (laughs) credible Right, because, because like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Respectfully, I, I I see the journalists that work at Complex. They always have somewhere to record. Um, <laughs> I, I see the journalists that work at Vibe. They always have somewhere to shoot. I yeah, see we the- invite the artists into our studio, right? And we do it. We have our videographer. We have our studio space. Like, yeah, what what artist is paying for that? Like, right, even, that just doesn't happen, bro. Like, it doesn't. Know. Even if he's conflating um journalists with. Maybe like content creators and podcasters. Content creators and podcasters usually have a space where they record and shoot out of. <laughs> I guess this is this is yeah. also another layer to the problem. Right. If people people are equating content produce content creators and streamers mm-hmm. to journalists, mm-hmm. that has always been my issue. I'm like Kai mm-hmm. Sana, I I get that you stop by Kai Sana for your press run. Right. But he's not a journalist. Like that's why okay. are you guys, he's just doing guys, what he does. Why are you guys conflating the two, man? Get out of here. But it's, it, it, it gets weird to me because he comes off like a, a music fundamentalist, right? <clears throat> so when I see him type at, this is a tweet that he, he uh, tweeted at a journalist, right? Here we go. <gasps> oh my God, I have that. Oh my God, you I have, have that pulled up too. Go Yay. ahead. Re- go ahead, read it, Reggie. Go ahead. It, it, is it the one that starts, you are a journalist? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, this guy's... Like, dog, what? Let's, let's start the Russ hate train <laughs> on this on this pod okay i won't drag alex into it no drag me into it you my twin let's go because this tweet is what is what completely maybe turn against him forever this is the so, one 